Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a third-party launcher on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Okay, so to get started, go down to Settings, System, scroll down to Developer Options, and then make sure ADB Debugging and Apps from Unknown Sources are enabled. Those should be enabled if you have installed Kodi already on your Amazon Fire TV stick. After you've done that, go over to your computer and you'll get started using ADB Fire. Now that you're at your computer, you should open up ADB Fire. Um, that is a universal application available for Windows, OS X, and Linux. So just be sure to check out the full guide for the download links for that. And after you have it open, you are going to need to create a profile for your Fire TV stick if you haven't done so already. To do that, hit the new button in ADB Fire and enter the description. And under address, you're going to want to input the IP address for your Fire TV stick. To find that, go to settings, system, about, and then network. You can find it right there. After you have that created, you go ahead and connect to your device. I already see here that it is connected. And then hit file, install Firestarter, and then hit install. It will install it just like a regular APK. So it will take about a couple minutes to get that um, squared away. After it has finished being pushed over, you will get a success message, and then you'll be able to switch right back over to your Fire TV stick. Now that we're back at the Fire TV Stick, scroll down to Settings again, go to Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and then under Firestarter, hit Launch Application. Now you'll be brought directly to the Firestarter home screen. You see here that Kodi is already displayed, so you can open it up easily that way. To have it set as your default launcher, scroll down to Settings. Under the Background Observation submenu, change the startup application to Firestarter or you can set up to Kodi if you're just using that on your Fire TV stick and if you want to have Kodi set up to a hotkey you could have it be set to a double click of the home button. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks and like always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.